Okay? Look. See? It's off. See there? And I'll wager that this one here is also connected to there. And, uh... uh never know what I get myself into when I start making a video, but, but hey, here, we've got, the, we've got the electrical tester here. Okay, it's all about GFIs we're talking about today. And, and see, I should get, I should really get some more of those, of those little blue tags. And this is, this is off right now, see? And we're gonna, we're gonna look at this one here real quick. This should be off. See, it's off. I will leave, we'll leave that right there so you know I'm not pulling, pulling any strings here. We'll get this, we'll get this reset. Right there, you saw that little night light go back on. I don't know, okay, see there? And that one during the day, the light should go off, shouldn't it? Or when the light goes on. This should go off, but I don't know. They must figure that it doesn't really take up that much power, so they, it, it's on the entire time, even when the light is on. There's no little scene. I turn that off and there's no on off button on there. Oh, well. Okay, now let's go back over here and see if my hypothesis is right. I know it's right. Come on. Let's see here. See there? The light's on, isn't it? Just wiggle your tester a little bit. There, see? on and we'll go back over here this this should go back on and just for kicks I'm gonna put it in here and it's on off on okay that's how you figure out your GFIs and your GFIs see usually like in a bathroom you, you don't necessarily, if you got just one bathroom with one electrical outlet like that other bathroom, there's no sense of putting a whole dedicated circuit on one bathroom. So you can connect, usually you can connect like two bathrooms. So see, we got three electrical outlets. We've got this one here, we've got that one there, and we've got the one in the other bathroom. And I'll, and I'll wager probably those are on a 20 amp circuit, not a 15 amp circuit. And it's because if you got a hair dryer in there, a curling iron, a, a radio, a razor, all that kind of stuff. Have you ever had that problem where you, where you overload something or you turn it on and then it clicks off and you're like, what the heck, what's going on? And there's no GFI there? Well, that's because maybe the GFI is located in another bathroom. If you only have one bathroom in your house, guess what? The GFI could be located out in your garage or on the outside of your house. Usually not the outside of your house, but generally inside a garage, maybe somewhere in a closet, a utility room, anything like that, depending on how big your, your house is and all that. Okay? So, that, I, I, I know I've made a few videos about GFIs before, but I just wanted to review and add one more thing to this because I couldn't find anything on this on on these two electrical outlets here I thought for sure I was gonna have to install a GFI electrical outlet and I was gonna put it down in there and I even went to the store and, and got the the GFI electrical outlet speaking of out in the store uh, I think I think I have some of those decals and see if you're like, hey, where do you get those decals? I don't think they sell them at the store by themselves. I think you would have to get an electrical, a, GF, a GFI electrical outlet at the store, buy it and have it in a box 
and then you would have a whole lot of decals. And I think, I, I'm not sure. Oh, you know what? I think I might have uh, already returned it to Home Depot uh, because I didn't think I was going to need it again. So usually I, I'll get stuff at Home Depot, and if I don't use it, obviously I'll go and make sure I spend the time on returning it returning it. But I think the last time I went to Home Depot, I returned the GFCI electrical outlet. And that's where you can find uh, all the decals. It came, it came with a whole pack, you know, a whole strip with, I don't know, maybe um, nine or ten little decals on there because they never know. You never know uh, where you're going to need the electrical outlet. And see on, on, uh, GFIs, you see this electrical outlet here, we're in the garage, and I'll bet you, I'll wager, well, I shouldn't wager, but I don't know, that GFI electrical outlet that was in that other bathroom could be connected to here too. Because usually in, in garages, you, you have these connected to the GFI. So I'm gonna just run up in this other bathroom, turn it off, Let's see if this one is connected to there. Nope. It's not connected to this one, but I know that it's got to be on a GFI electrical outlet because that's what the code is. And so there could be another one out in the garage. There could be, that one could be connected to another uh, GFI electrical outlet in the other garage, let's say, and both garages are connected together. And again, there's no, there's no little tag here to signify whether or not that's GFI protected or not. But, but by code, yes, garages, you're supposed to have GFIs. And what I was gonna tell you about GFIs, when you get them at the store, if you need one, just to hook up to one place, there's directions on how you can install one GFI electrical outlet just just to satisfy this one electrical outlet. But if you have, if you have uh, a whole area where you've got two or three electrical outlets and you know that the circuit, wherever the circuit's coming in, as long as that electrical goes to the next one and then from there goes to the next one like that, let's say like that, you can, did you know you can install an, a GFI electrical outlet here and by installing it, hooking up the wires a different way, anything then from here down the line from this electrical outlet if you've got some more daisy chained in the wall or wherever that goes if that's not the end of a line you can have the rest of those electrical outlets protected by this GFI electrical outlet that you're installing did you know that so you've got two different ways to do that and and it gives you it gives you options on how to hook that up, how many things to, to include. They also have, um, sometimes, sometimes maybe you don't see any GFI electrical outlets, um, or, and maybe you just see the little emblem tags. Well, you know, they have a GFI, I believe they do, where you've got a test button out in the electrical panel where you can get a 15 amp circuit breaker or a 20 amp circuit breaker and you can have it the trip right there instead of inside the house i believe i've seen those i've seen little test switches in fact i've seen them uh used to have a place in hawaii and in the electrical panel for the two bedrooms there was a test button on the electrical outlet inside the uh circuit breaker inside the sub panel the electrical panel and not inside the the condo for some reason they did it that way so you know different things on how to make sure to get your electrical outlets protected and it's a code it's a code thing so old kitchens you should make sure you've got GFI protected in kitchens in bathrooms and in garages go out let's go out to this garage here real quick maybe there's a Maybe there's an electrical uh, outlet out here that's a GFI, and I don't know if there is or not. Uh, 
Here it is right here, okay? Now, let's, just for kicks, okay, I'm gonna turn that off, and uh, should be connected to here. Let me grab my tester. Got my tester in here. But this one should, should be off too now. See, it's off. It could be the fact that uh, this wire goes up into the ceiling and a mouse or rat got up in the ceiling, chewed a wire, or in a junction box up here. There could be a junction box up here with a loose wire nut, and that might be connected to a GFI electrical outlet somewhere else, and then it could come over to here and not work this now. Okay, so there's lots of things that could be happening here, and so a troubleshooting I will go to figure this out, but I'm not gonna make it included in this video. I think my time is done. Well, that's all I got for this time, but I'll be back with more videos. And I hope you learned something important about protecting yourself when it comes to GFI electrical outlets, where they should be located, how to set them, and all of that good stuff. All right, see you next time.